Plumbing, R-E-I-M-B-D, L-L-C, evaluating gas fittings and connections for leaks. You use uh, soap, soapy water in a spray bottle, and you spray the joints to determine if there are leaks. Now, when you spray the joints, you look at the joints, the connection between the pipe. See this bubbling here? You'll see bubble, but this is active bubble. Uh, so the bubbles are, you can see activity of the air coming out and the bubbles and the soap allows you to see that. Now, when you use soapy water, you're going to get bubbles anyway. But the question is, is there air moving through those bubbles? So this is thread sealant. When you seal gas pipes, you do sealant, Teflon tape, and then sealant again. Three layers to make sure you have it. This, <clears throat> so see here, there's sealant. Then there will be Teflon tape over it and then sealant again. So three layers before it's screwed in. And then one thing to note, um, when you screw in the pipes, it's, uh, it's, it's uh, angled um, or, or receding. So that means the pipe, say, to this left, see the left threads? That diameter is a little bit smaller than another, than over to the right. So the, so the fitting, the threaded part, uh, gets bigger and bigger. So it becomes harder and harder to screw in. When you use thread sealant, it acts as a lubricant to allow you to thread the pipes deeper. We hope that helps you with your plumbing with gas fittings. R-E-I-M-B-D-L-L-C. Wish you well.